Hey everyone, Ross A. Prepper here. Today I'm going to be doing a, kind of a gear update or some modifications. So I'm going to be starting from the uh, head down. So I've done a video on my helmet before. I think I've done two, the actual initial review of the helmet and then uh, the modifications I did to it before. But I've made some, quite a few changes. So right off the bat, you can notice that uh, I kind of have a ghillie cover. So this is nice, they do sell them. Uh, this was homemade, and basically all it is is just a piece of uh, netting that I've cut a chunk out. It's a little tricky to get on, but basically all I did was put it under the ear pro and under here. Now the nice thing about this, it does break up uh, your um, shadow a bit, make your features, and give as much outline. And of course, you can go buy these, but I had some cam netting just laying around after my uh, DIY ghillie suit. So, if you're interested in watching that video, check out the playlist. We'll take this off. So it's on there pretty secure. I'm not worried about it coming off, that's for sure. And seeing as it was free, I can't complain. So basically, there you go. I got it off now. That's all it is, just a piece of cam netting that I've just cut kind of to fit, cut the extras, the access off. And uh, yeah. So that's basically all I got there. I've also, on the previous uh, video, I had a black uh, helmet cover. I swapped out for a multi-cam one, as always. But this one, the nice thing about this helmet cover is it has the uh, battery pack back. Uh, store uh, the MBG batteries or just spare ones, which was nice. And then I also added an umbrella light. So this is one of those, uh, the SS uh, precision mounts. But the nice thing about this uh, light is it has a uh, white light, but it also has an IR. So you just turn that, the camera's picking up the IR, and then white light. So that's the nice thing about that. Another thing I also, because of modifications is ear pro. So I had the uh, factory uh, ones on, but I noticed they started uh, right down here, they actually broke, the clip broke. So I ordered these ones, they're uh, aluminum. You can see right there. And you do have to take the uh, helmet apart to get them on, but it was a nice, like a big improvement. And you don't have to worry about your ear pro falling off. So those are the main updates I've done on this helmet. So now we'll move on to the vest. So now we're on to the vest. So first thing after wearing it for a while, I decided to get some shoulder pads. Definitely makes a big difference. Uh, I was running it pretty slick before and just the weight in general started to hurt the shoulder. So I got some shoulder pads. The next thing is the uh, mag placard. So before I had a slim one, but now, this is uh, a very similar to what T Rex Arm sells. Let's see, what is that? S Tac, but it's got the uh, Falcro on the front. So it already had retention in it, as you can see. So nice for re indexing mags. So with that, it just makes it easier to put them in and out compared to the slick version I had before. Also, for malfunctions and everything, right here is a paint can opener. So you've probably seen them a few videos of guys for getting uh, shell casings out that are stuck. So I've added a bit of hockey tape to the end and paracord uh, just so I get better grip on it. But I tuck it right, right inside there, easy to get to, and then I kind of Fold this all up, and shove it back in, just so it doesn't get caught on anything. So the way, 
And there you go. So there's there. There's a knife. So pretty handy. The next thing uh, on the back, I I ordered some of these uh, chem light holders, and I guess they could be used for battery, but they're uh, they're kind of loose, so I don't use them for chem lights. And I also taped them so I know which ones are uh, at night time and just by touch. Tell which color they're. So I've added two of those. I've also added at the back, I don't, know, I don't believe I talked about this, but this is a uh, rear mag pouch. So it dangles on the back, but it gives me, allows me to run two extra mags. And I don't find it interferes with sitting down or anything because it does, it's able to move. But it's just handy to have two extra mags on you at, the, at all times. So that's pretty well it for the uh, my plate here. Some changes. One thing I will say with the bag, because I know a lot of people prefer backpacks. Um, this bag is nice because it expands. But because we are in winter time, I have my DIY ghillie suit. Now if you haven't seen this video, I'd highly recommend you watch it as it is uh, super slim, like that's tiny, and uh, it works very well. I have also have a rain cover for backpack, paracord, and then in a dry bag I have binoculars, flashlights, uh, I did have a range finder in there, but I took that out, I'll show you where I put it after uh, in a second. So now we'll move on to my belt. Alright, so now onto the belt. Starting on this side, we'll do some mag carriers. So originally I had the s -Tac versions. Uh, they're good, but I don't like how you couldn't... You, I know you can modify the retention by heating up the Kydex inside, but I preferred making my own. So these are my own uh, mag carriers that I've made. And the nice thing is you can adjust the retention, but uh, I don't have to worry about them coming out. And they also work with uh, P mags too. So I made two of them. I can remove them because they're on the uh, tech locks. So I can take them off. I want to only run one or two. But right now I have two on here. So as we're going over, here's my rangefinder. So I was watching a video, um, guy, we're doing long range shooting. And if you don't have your uh, plate carrier on, it's nice to have your rangefinder with you. So this is easily able to uh, take it off. It's just with these quick, uh, quick clips. So inside, I have my rangefinder, as you can see. But I made this because I was worried about uh, damaging my rangefinder if I ever rolled or anything. So I took the Kydex, heated it up, and put the rangefinder inside just to mold it a bit. And then I added a bit of shock cord to the side, just to give me a bit more uh, elasticity when uh, putting it back in. As you can see, fits in there good, nice and snug. So it's just a bit more protection than the standard case offers. It fits in there good. Rain finder goes right in, and I don't have to worry about it coming out or getting damaged. So, moving around to the holster. So, I did have the, this is a T-Rex Arms holster here. Uh, one thing I did want is a retention holster, but I also liked uh, this holster as well. Just because if you don't want the lock, you don't have to have it. So, one modification I made, and you can make it to yours, is put my pistol out. So you can see here, I've got a bit of shock cord here, tied up there and here, and I've notched it, put a slight notch right in front. So what that allows me to do is not that I'm worried about the uh, pistol coming out, but it allows me to add a bit more security to it. So you can see the shock cord comes out there, it just keeps it from falling out if it ever did. So, in order to take that off, you just take that, fold it in, hook it on that notch. And I made a little notch right here as well, just to keep it out of the way. And one down below. It's hard to see, but it's...
can see there, I made a little notch right there. Just kind of keep it from getting caught on the pistol itself. So you can see the notch right there. There it is, notch there, and a little notch back here. So if you're interested in just adding a bit more added security, you can do something like that. Another thing I did add was the tourniquet holder. So uh, this one here goes right on the uh, holster. It's nice because you have a tourniquet right in front of the pistol. It doesn't take up much room. So I have that one, but I also have this one as well. That one's on a tech lock. Uh, I can take it on and off. Carabiner with extra chem lights and tape. And then probably the most useful tool that I actually use quite often is a Leatherman. So I like to keep the Leatherman right up front just for easy access as well as a knife. But it's just a small tiny Leatherman here. Basically the pliers is what I want it for. So that's it for the belt guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're, uh, I'd love to hear if you guys plan on using any of these tips or anything modifications I've made, especially the holster. I think that's one of my favorite ones I've done so far. But uh, as far as practicality and stuff like that, I'd recommend people start doing this with the tourniquets. Just to, it frees up room. If you do have a tourniquet on your belt, it frees up that room. So you can put extra stuff here. So overall, I have three on my belt. I have one at the back and two technically on the front of my dominant hand. But I can also access them with my opposite. So thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, like and subscribe. It helps me out. And I uh, look forward to hearing the comments, what you guys think. You guys may have some more tips and tricks that you guys can add. So thanks for watching.